So a lot of us are in isolation right now. We're bored, tired, we've got cabin fever. We're starting to develop nervous tics. Well, I've got just the therapy for you. Grab an old Polaroid camera and shoot some Polaroid film. So today we're gonna to be shooting with two flavors of Polaroid. We're gonna be shooting color 600 film and black and white 600 film. And this is a vintage Polaroid 600 camera. These are super cheap. I got this at a thrift store, I think for like $12 back in the day. You can get them on eBay. They're gonna be a little more pricier on eBay. But it's one of the simplest cameras you can possibly shoot with. Basically you just load the film, it automatically shoots out the dark slide and then you're ready to shoot. And then really your only controls on this one is a lightning slider if you wanna make the image lighter and a darkening slider if you wanna make the image darker. But you can leave it right in the middle and it will generally give you a good exposure. It does have a built-in flash and you can't turn it off. So you're always gonna have a flash in your shot. This can be a little annoying if you're trying to shoot a silhouette, uh, but if you're trying to shoot a silhouette, you probably shouldn't be using this camera. Okay, we got our camera loaded up, let's go shooting. Now obviously with social distancing, you don't wanna go places where there are lots of people. And if you're in a town where you're supposed to stay inside, you can just shoot around your house. But I live in an area where we are allowed to go to parks, so I went to our local forest preserve. And there were a couple people out and about, but it's still winter here in Illinois. You know, we don't really get summer until mid-May. It's in the 40s right now and cold and windy. So I was able to find plenty of space to myself. What I love about shooting with this camera is the simplicity. You basically just compose your shot, take your shot, and the camera decides what it's gonna look like. And with this new Polaroid film, you are getting more stability than you used to get with the Impossible Project film back in the day, but it's still not great. You are gonna get some kind of faded images, some weird colors. One of the things you wanna look out for when shooting Polaroid is leaving the film in your camera for too long. This was the last piece of film that I had left in the camera. So while I was storing it for about six months, light bled in and ruined the shot. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure to clean the rollers in your camera. Uh, I used Q-tips and some rubbing alcohol. If you don't clean your rollers, they'll build up gunk over time, and then you'll start getting weird aberrations in your image like this. This is a shadow of a tree that I see every day when I go out my front door. Um, I just like the beauty and simplicity of it. Uh, Polaroid is a great medium for shooting you know, really simplified images. This is a beautiful walkway in the park that I like to go to. It feels almost like uh, an old computer game, like a, like Mist. It reminds me of Mist. It feels kind of magical, like otherworldly. Um, and this was uh, as the sun was setting, so we get some beautiful shadows as well. This photo is a little overexposed and not completely in focus, but I still like it. Uh, it's just you know a bit of growth in a pond reflection of a cloud. Really simple stuff. I love the clouds in this shot. The sun was behind them. It looked really beautiful. Um, the image isn't as great as what I saw with my eye, but with a little editing I was able to make it look pretty good. I'm always drawn to the sun when it goes behind a brush like this. It creates a really beautiful look. It almost feels like you're looking through an otherworldly forest. There's a shadow of me. Yep. This is probably my favorite photo that I captured on the shoot. Uh, it's just a boardwalk over a pond. But um, I like how on one side the water is fairly blue and on the other you've got the sun. And you can also see the branching path to the right. It just has a real zen feel to it. It's chill and uh, I just like it. it. It makes me happy. There's a real peace and calmness to shooting Polaroid 600 film, especially with this camera. You know, not having any controls, you're basically just looking for interesting compositions, snapping the shot, putting the film in your pocket and waiting for it to develop. And then coming home, laying out all the film on my table and seeing what I captured was actually a really fun experience. Um, a really great way to get my mind off of, you know, everything that's happening in the world today.
Now, not every Polaroid's gonna turn out. Some of these photos weren't that great. But one of the nice things about Polaroids is if you shoot a particularly bad shot, you can literally just throw it in the trash. Uh, you don't have to store it on a folder somewhere and go back and look at it and go, hmm, maybe I can edit this to fix this. You can literally just throw it in your kitchen trash. Oh, and before I go, check out this awesome light I'm using to light me right now. This is our Dowlight Prismo. It's an RGBWT uh, tube light uh, that you can set to pretty much any color you can imagine. Uh, and it's a great light for adding some interesting color to your shot. It's a tube light, so it's 360 degrees, and I really enjoy using these lights. So if you'd like to learn more about this light, click the link in the description below. I'm also using our Photodeox Flapjack 1.5 by 1.5. Uh, it's a flat panel LED edge light. It creates beautiful, soft, diffused light without any sort of diffusion. You don't have to add a soft box to it. It's like having a light with a soft box built right into it. And then I'm using a Photodeox Popspot LED Fresnel behind me with a red gel on it to add some nice lighting to my head. And these are great versatile lights. I always have a bunch of them and they're great to add edge light to a scene or add a spot somewhere. So if you'd like to learn about any of these products, click the links in the description below and click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more chill photo and filmmaking related videos like this one. I'm Sean with photodeox.com and have a good day.